December the 25th, Saint Anastasia. And on the ill can die, Christus at Genet Nesse, God is Tirchana, where they are sancta Anastasia, ye bird. Thus Halgen, ye seeth weefes, say what swithe adle for worlde, and mickle better for gode. Diocletianus, se hadna casere, he assailed his yeferan that he here shield mid witum bregian, that he o Christi with socke, and hadn gild gulde. The hat si affaire here be lucan in caserne sixty dia on nichta, and here a man ne sielde ne laf, ne warta ne nanny earthlick ne mete. Here come alkinic sumis haliges weefes gast to, se was hatten sancta Theodota, and brochte here hefon licu ye reordu, and sada here. Be there a heaven licken fire nesse, and one de mit here of Hana sang, and eft verde to heavenum. Da after sixty hum dachum, da heo ut yoda of them castle, da was here an soon swa reod and swa fire, swa dare winsum nestr and famnen, than he heo fire ospith. Thuch Wunder ne martyrdom, here for let this and where the leaf, and where the leaf, and here a litcham resteth nu on Romi Buri. December the twenty fifth, Saint Anastasia. On the same day as Christ's birth, the churches of God celebrate the birth of Saint Anastasia, the Holy Lady. She was very noble in the sight of the world and much better before God. The heathen emperor, Diocletianus, delivered her to his prefect that he might terrify her with tortures, so that she abjured Christ and sacrificed to the idols. The prefect ordered her to be locked up in the dungeon sixty days and nights, and neither bread nor water nor any earthly food was given her. Every night the spirit of a certain holy woman called Saint Theodota came to her and brought her heaven 